why women are so offended when men ask, what do you bring to the table? I'm just being honest. What is so wrong about a man wanting you to add value to his life? What do you bring to the table? What do you have to offer in a relationship? This question sparks a lot of controversy. It really gets a lot of people triggered. But me personally, I've discussed this once or twice myself, but despite what everybody thinks, I actually think that it's a very legitimate question to ask. I think it's valid. But the reason why people get so up in arms when you ask them this question is because they think that when you ask them that you're equating their worth with what they have to offer. Oh, so why do I got to offer something? Why can't you just like me for who I am? Welcome to my everyday. But I think the question is legit for two main reasons. One, in most cases, not all the cases, but in most cases, men won't ask a woman this question unless they are 100% serious about her. Unless they take you serious, they won't ask the question for the most part. And the second reason is you want to know exactly what you're getting yourself into in person. You want to know exactly what you're dealing with. Let's just say that I was a car salesman. I worked at a dealership. You walked on a lot born in a car. And I just rush you over to this car and say, hey, buy this car. It's got 40,000 miles on it and one previous owner. Take my word for it. You can look at me sideways. You can look at me like I'm crazy. Ain't no way in hell you're going to buy a car and not know the previous owner or what's wrong with it before you buy it. No way in hell. And I say that to say this. Is me having you in my life going to improve my life? Are you going to make me a better man? Not just for you, but for the both of us where we both benefit? Or are you going to be a hindrance? Because it's like this. If you're not an asset, then you're a liability. For example, if you enter my life and you're a leech, if you're a vampire, if you're draining to me, time, money, energy, effort, whatever. If you enter my life and you expect me to just give, 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 or you just take, 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 then guess what? You're a liability. If I can't call on you for the same things that you call on me for, no matter how big or small they might be, you're a liability. If you bring nothing besides chaos, drama, and bullshit to my life, despite how physically attractive you might be, then you're a liability. If I can't come to you as a man and express my thoughts and feelings and say what's on my mind without you thinking less of me as a man, then you're a liability. If I can't come to you as a woman and give you constructive criticism and talk to you about what you're doing wrong without you thinking that I'm trying to degrade you or downplay you, you're a liability. And last but not least, if you expect me to put you on this high pedestal and treat you like a queen and a goddess and you want to treat me down here like I'm expendable, guess what? You're a liability. And I know a lot of y'all are coming right now. Uh, you're just saying this just to protect a fragile male ego. No, dummy. Because relationships are about love, but it's also a long-term investment. I want to know if I made the right decision when I invested in you. But this can also be a lose-lose situation because let's just say that a woman and I are on equal footing. We offer the same thing to each other. Or maybe she might offer a little bit more than me. Let's just say that she has a job making $125,000 a year and I'm only making $65,000 a year. Is she going to think that she can do better than me? And this is where the real test is and this is where some of y'all fail. Now, if I was the breadwinner in a relationship and I was the one making the most money, if something were to happen to me where I get hurt or I get a pay cut, if I lose my job, could I count on you to stick by my side and hold me down while I get back on my feet or are you gonna jump ship? But bottom line, a relationship, partnership, marriage, whatever the hell y'all wanna call it, it's supposed to be a team effort, teamwork. It can't work without both parties cooperating. It's not a game of tug of war. Because guess what? Neither one of y'all will ever win trying to prove that y'all are more dominant than the other one. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. And this is for the ladies. And I read this on Twitter. Don't let what a man brings to the table be all you have to eat. And I say that because a lot of men can become controlling if they have more to offer than you do.